Ooh, mama looking rough today. What's that? A new background? Oh, well, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know why I have a new background. Hello everyone, my name is Katie Carson. I am the Duchess of Suds here at Royalty Soaps. And today I'm going to be making a soap that has been so highly requested. You guys are wanting another rainbow soap and I normally make them, I would say probably once a year or so. And I have two designed for the next two months. It's going to be so wonderful. One of them is a high top and one of them is a low top. And the low top that I'm making today is actually going to be a standard, which means it will be available in the shop for more than just one month. Also, super sorry if it's like echoing so bad in here. It's really empty, but right now it is the only part of the house that is quiet. Do not let my tired appearance fool you. I'm actually really, really happy and really, really excited. However, I went to bed at like 12.30 last night and woke up at six and I've done that for many, many days like in a row. <laughs> Your homegirl's tired, but aren't we all? I mean, really like deep down inside. <laughs> Anyway, I'm rambling. I hope you guys enjoy this video. <laughs> Let's get so making. We are going to begin first by blending up our oils and our lye water solution, both of which are at room temperature. Just gonna pour our lye water solution in very slowly. And now I am going to blend on high until everything has reached emulsification. Soap is now to emulsification, so I'm going to set my stick blender off to the side and get the containers ready for the six colorants. Here are my little clear plastic cups, so I'm going to very carefully <laughs> pour a little bit of my soap batter off into each one. This is so heavy, you guys. Y'all should applaud my great strength because <laughs> it's honestly not as easy as it looks. And now I'm going to wipe up this little mess I made because nobody wants to look at that. Into each little tiny cup container, I'm going to add a different color. So the first one that I'm adding here is Purple Vibrance. This is from Nurture Soap. This is by far the best purple I have ever found. Next is Brilliant Blue Mica. This is also from Nurture Soap. Green Vibrance is next. This is a really great green. It's kind of like your typical, just everyday green. It doesn't lean like really dark or really light or neon or anything like that. It's just green. Then I'm adding some True Yellow from TKB. Oh, and by the way, I'm not cleaning this off in between scooping because I'm just messy like that. But also that teeny tiny bit of powder is not gonna make any difference at all. Next is Orange Vibrance from Nurture Soap. And finally, Really Red Mica from Nurture Soap. This is going to be like the best color blending process I've ever done. Let's mix them up. And this is why I use Nurture Soap colorants. Look at how vivid these colors are, so pretty. So now I'm just gonna take my spatula, kind of wipe down the edges to make sure that all the soap has been evenly colored. As you can probably tell from the video, I did not clean off my stick blender in between the colors because these colors are so potent you don't have to do that. Now that I have the accent colors, I'm gonna move them off to the side and we are going to mix up the white base color. For the white, I am just going to stick blend this titanium dioxide mixed with water right into all of this soap batter. The white has been fully blended in, so it's time to add the fragrance oil, Cocktails by The Pool from Nature's Garden. This smells so good. It's so summery, very fruity, kind of got a little bit of an icy smell in there. It sort of reminds me of shaved ice, I suppose, or snow cones. It's just really delicious. Now that the fragrance oil has been blended into all the containers, it's time to start pouring. I am so flipping excited about this soap, you guys. It has been too long since I have done a rainbow soap, and this one is so 
lovely. The fragrance oil has made the soap all creamy and delicious and just, oh yes. So I am going to pour a good amount of the white in, like almost all of it, but I'm gonna leave a little bit to cover up the top so that the swirl is really, really noticeable. I'm gonna be doing sort of like a mica drizzle swirl type thing, so I'm gonna leave about this much, if you can even tell what that, like how much that is. <laughs> Fabulous, it's really runny. So we're going to start here with the purple and I'm gonna pour from up high and I'm gonna try to keep it in the lines. You guys can probably see the lines that we have here. Might even just do like one line. Well, maybe two, I don't know. Everything's gonna be a little different. <laughs> now for the blue, again, pouring up really high. Hopefully this is going to make that droppy look that I was going for. Rainbow drops and such. And I am scraping these out as we go along because I'm not going to be putting any on the top. Remember, we're just going to be putting that pretty colored mica drizzle on the top, and those have already been set aside and are ready to go behind the scenes. Green is next, and yes, it looks kind of ugly right now, but it won't look like that. <laughs> Once it saponifies, it won't be nearly as ugly. <laughs> now for the yellow, I'm gonna try to pour that a little more on the sides so that it doesn't mess up the other colors, because yellow, when it mixes with other colors, that's the one that has a tendency to look kind of gross. <laughs> Yellow needs its own personal space, you guys. Now for orange, up really high. Again, kind of needs its own space, does orange, but I'm not worrying about it too much. It's, it's just going wherever it wants. <laughs> And finally, the red to pull it all together. I'm actually leaving the red a little bit closer to the top, just like so. I'm gonna put a little more of this maybe in the cracks and stuff too, just for fun. And then now I'm going to scrape it out and then I'm gonna tap this down on the ground just to get all the air bubbles out and so you can probably see these little mountains I've created just so that they're all even. Magical third hand appear! Yes! Okay, so we are going to pour this gloopy gloopy white onto the top and I am just gonna have my third hand here sort of guide this, shake it around a little tiny bit. We are just trying to cover the majority of the colors on top so that the mica drizzle really stands out. So it is mostly white on top. Only the edges have a little bit of color sort of seeping out, no big deal. So now I'm going to take my mica here. I'm just gonna put a few little drops not every single bar will have every single color on top. And I am gonna start to try to place them so they don't run into each other. been able to talk that much you guys this soap is really uh, it just requires a lot of brain power so I'm just taking my pipette and I'm pulling through all of those little dots I made on top just for added prettiness and I'm not wanting to swirl it too much because I still want the colors to be their own thing, which means that my swirling is really big, because if I make it really small, they'll all kind of run together. We're gonna top this off with some biodegradable glitter and a healthy serving of it. I'm also gonna be taking some silver airbrush glitter from Fizz Fairy and putting a little bit of that on top. It just adds a, like this really pretty like pearly sheen on top, but it doesn't dull the color, so I really like this stuff. We will spritz it now with rubbing alcohol, and my friends, the rainbow drop soap is complete. Here's what it looks like up close. 
I love that some of the little mica drops kind of stayed where they were and didn't get swirled because that totally reminds me of the name, the rainbow drop name. It sort of has that drop effect on top. I'm going to let this sit for 18 to 24 hours and then we will be back after this quick commercial break to chop up these bars. We are back the next day to chop up the soap. You guys, can we even like that swirl on top? Yes. So I'm gonna line this up with the cutter. A lot of people have asked me about samples recently, so I'm just gonna show you before I cut here. This teeny tiny little bar on the side is clearly too small to be a full-size bar, so that's what will eventually end up being a sample. We'll cut that into four pieces, and now I'm just gonna press down. This smells amazing, by the way. Gonna take those scrappy bits off. Then let's pull right out of the middle here. Ta-da! A rainbow drop soap. This looks literally exactly how I wanted it to. I want every single soap to have all six colors and then I wanted the white to be the majority. So this is just the drop. Yes, look at this one. I seriously love it so much. Like it's so simple and elegant and yet it has all the fun colors in it. Just my style. Would you guys like to see the design inspiration for this? <laughs> I know you would, let me go get that picture. So this is the original design inspiration. This is what the top was supposed to look like and it does, just the little swirly design and then just the drops of rainbow. Now, because I was using crayons, <laughs> I didn't color them all close to each other because I didn't want to muddy it. I just was essentially telling myself, drop, swirl it all together, make sure every bar has one of every color and it does, so I'm totally thrilled. My design inspiration photos are mainly just for myself to remind myself of the original idea and as long as I know what I'm talking about then that's all that really matters. <laughs> but I know you guys like to see sneak peeks behind the design so there you go. Oh yes! I can't wait to make more of these. And just to remind you, these are going to become standards so they will be available in both July and in August. What time in July, you ask? Well, I will tell you, they will be available at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Not a Wednesday, by the way. It's a Friday for those of us um, in that time zone. We're changing it up on you guys. We're changing it up. This one looks like a little feather on the side. That is so cool. So the question of the day is yet another functional one. I would like to know if you guys think that the video length is just right or if my videos should be shorter because I recently realized that I do talk like quite a lot <laughs> and give quite a bit of detail in my videos and I don't know if you guys are just like, girl, just get to the soap making, we don't care. So tell me, are you interested in all the chatting or would you rather me keep it short, sweet, and simple? Let me know by clicking the eye in the upper right hand corner of the screen right now and casting your vote. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel leave me a comment down below i really hope you guys like what i did with the rainbow soap i really wanted to try something new but still use all of the colors this month's theme by the way is drinks when i made the grape soda slash like a really big fail <laughs> soap a lot of you guys were like yes you should do a whole month of like summer drinks and then july's theme i'm not going to announce yet but I'll give you a little hint, my birthday is in July. So until next time, I hope you all have an absolutely royal day. Do something fun for yourself today, whether that is taking a nap or just having a sit in your echoey bathroom. <laughs> Do something that makes you happy and I will see you all Saturday. So until then, bye for now. Meow.